Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let me tell you, folks. You know what we're talking about here today? It's going to be our dividends we earned in this portfolio for the month of, um, yeah, August 2023. Now, a terrible month in terms of performance for the portfolio. For the portfolio, as you might see. I can't even speak. I'm so disgusted by the performance. But let me tell you, the dividends we earn this month is a legendary number. It's a fantastic number, and I hope you stay tuned to, to take a look at what we earned this month. One of our best months ever. So, um, without further ado, let's uh, get cracking with a slight introduction. First, going to say, if, you, if you've not been here before, you know we earn about $5,200 annually in terms of interest income, investment income uh, right now in terms of dividends. So, it's it's kind of nice, right? It's kind of nice. Now, every three months, usually pretty nice. August happens to be one of those months where it falls on, you know, that month that's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty well split between all three months, to be honest. Decently split. Um, there are some lackluster months here, but I'll give you a total once we're all said and done. But let's get started and, and just go for it, right? The main thing I'm going to be showing you here is is really to implement you know, what I'd be saying here is the dividend snowball effect. I'll be showing you these reinvest shares because that's a line item when, whenever the dividends get reinvested and I reinvest every dividend I earn. So we'll just go ahead and do that, show you kind of what we're able to earn here. So first off, we're actually starting with a, it was a dividend that was actually earned at the end of last month, so it doesn't count towards this month's total. But hey, um, $8.07 from Gladstone uh, actually got, uh, reinvested 4.72 shares. Not too bad. We get a couple monthly dividend payers following them. Going to be QYLD and XYLD. XYLD paid me $5.26, reinvested for 0.127 shares. Uh, QYLD, larger of the two positions, paid me $9.14, uh, $9 reinvested for 0.51 shares. Now, what I like about that, again, we talk about the snowball. Even if I didn't invest any more money into this one, Every two months, I'm earning one extra share, which means I'm earning, you know, that extra dividend. And then every year, I'm earning six extra shares just without putting in any of my extra capital. That's what I kind of like about that snowball effect. I do. So that's that. Uh, we get a couple more monthly payers here, JEPI and JEPQ. JEPQ paid $8.60 this month uh, total. Reinvest for 0.17 shares. Uh, and JEPI, larger of the two positions, paid 13.8 which is about 0.248 uh, shares repurchased. So not too bad. Every four months getting an, you know another share there. I'll take it any of the week. Um, this one isn't a reinvestment, but it's worth mentioning because it's some interest paid, $20 earned from a Microsoft bond. Uh, we'll take interest as we get it, okay? I'm not, not upset with any interest at all. <clears throat> then let's get cracking on this next one here, right? We have... Uh, the Lowe's Corporation, $2.22, nothing crazy, and reinvest for 0 0.01 shares. Oh, wow, that's that's exciting, isn't it? Um, no, it's not, by the way. So let's get into some reinvestments here that we have going on. Uh, we got some big ones coming up here, no doubt, some of our monthly payers. So first off, SWVXX, that, uh, that Schwab money market fund we own, $19.10 this month, not too bad at all. Um, another monthly payer coming up here is Apple Hospitality, uh, paid $9.23. This one I like a lot too. Again, 0 0.61 shares repurchased. This pays every single month, by the way. Right now it pays eight cents a month and likely, uh, I see by next fiscal year, they'll be bumping that back up to the 10 cents they had pre-pandemic because they currently earn the FFO to support that and they will be eventually bringing that back up mostly because they're going to be required to, to be honest, to keep their classification. They'll have to do that. So anyways, regardless, you know, uh, on an annual basis, you know, again, it, it's pretty nice to see I'm earning more than half a share every single month. So it's pretty beautiful. Main Street Capital paid $11.11. .11. That one also pays monthly, by the way. <laughs> Reinvest for a 0.7, or 0.27 shares. Pretty nice. Abvi paid $15.23, big, big share price, so not a big reinvestment, but it was a 0 .099, uh, nine, not too bad. OHI, 
<clears throat> Omega Healthcare is a mass, uh, massive dividend, by the way. $60.66. Very beautiful. Thankfully, there's a zero separating these. Otherwise, it could be dangerous. Uh, 1.93 shares repurchased. Holy cow. Now, this one does pay every quarter. So, to be fair, uh, every three months. Uh, I'm, you know, earning eight, eight shares per year on that one just by kind of letting it sit there. It's a massive yielder. You know, about 10%. Pretty nice. Um, let's get into a couple more here while we're at it. We've got Activision Blizzard paid $14.85. So that is a point <clears throat> one uh six four reinvestment there. Not too bad, not too bad. Apple Incorporated, uh not known for the dividend, obviously, twelve dollars ten cents there. Uh reinvest for point zero six nine. I'll be plenty fine with that. New York Community Bank pays a good dividend here too. Eight dollars thirteen cents paid from them. Which is the equivalent of uh, 0.68 uh, shares. Now, Prospect Capital, this is one that's really snowballing right now, by the way. $18.07 paid. Now, that reinvested, this one pays monthly, by the way, six cents every month per share. 2.96. We're talking about three shares I just earned on this one. You know what that means? An extra 18 cents next month, which means another 18 point blah, blah, blah. It's the compounding that really takes effect on this one, right? Because this is very nice. Um, three shares every month that I'm earning, which means every month actually I earn more than that because I'll be earning even more fractional shares. It's pretty nice to see. Um, we had a ton of dividends coming on the 25th, by the way, a ton. Um, reinvested here on the 28th, actually. First one being SPHD, uh, $7.28 reinvested for 0.17 shares there, pays monthly as well. Uh, KBWD also pays monthly, $18.38 reinvested for 1.17 shares. Again, I said that one pays monthly, by the way. That one pays monthly, which means I'm earning 12 shares a year on that one alone. Not too bad. KBWY also pays monthly. They paid nine dollars and uh, sixty-seven cents. Reinvest for 0 0.51. Not bad for a monthly payer. Charles Schwab paid a dividend to three dollars seventy-nine cents. Nothing crazy. 0 0.06 shares reinvested. Citigroup also paid a night a pretty decent dividend. Ten dollars eighty-five cents I got from them. Uh, equivalent to 0 0.26 shares reinvested. <clears throat> HTGC pays a beautiful dividend, by the way. Uh, I will say they paid an additional special dividend. I got $8.88 from a special dividend, which doesn't get reinvested. Those specials don't. They go straight into cash. Uh, but this normal dividend was the ordinary dividend, $44.40. 40 paid uh, for two, two, sorry, <clears throat> two point six seven shares reinvested. Pretty beautiful, if you ask me. Definitely happy to have that one. And then Starbucks, a relatively small dividend, $5.42. Reinvest for 0 0.05 shares. Um, not too bad. Uh, then we've got XYLD, another monthly dividend payer. Uh, that one got us $7.01. Um, for some reason, I don't know why XYLD paid a little bit early, so we got somehow two, two payments in the same month for XYLD. Not too bad. 0.17 shares repurchased there. Um, almost dipping into the following month. We're getting close, but we're not there yet. Uh, we've got QYLD also, $8.89. Again, beautiful. Reinvest for 0 0.509 shares. Love to see it. DES, Wisdom Tree, small cap fund, tiny, tiny position for me. 0 0.272 shares or 0 0.0. Two four shares repurchased. I got some CD interest off of my 3.2% yielder. $16.13 paid to me. And the massive one here is going to be none other than Arbor Realty Trust. You see it along the top here. Arbor Realty Trust, $86.70. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. That's pretty massive. Reinvest for 5.33 shares. Pays quarterly, by the way. That's 20 freaking shares a year. Um, I'm getting there really 21, if we're being honest, but not too bad. And then our final dividend uh, we earned in the month was going to be Gladstone, $8.13, worth mentioning. Now, what does that total put us at? Well, it puts us for the month of August at a $490.52 earned in dividends as well as interest. That's pretty nice. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, not too bad at all. So, hey, that's our month of August. I hope you had a 
fantastic stinking day, and, and hey, I will uh, talk to you later.